Anthony Fauci, a top expert on infectious diseases in the United States, said at a state hearing on Tuesday, states would face really serious consequences if they opened up prematurely during the coronavirus pandemic. Here is what he said. My concern that if some areas, cities, states, or what have you, jump over those various checkpoints and prematurely open up without having the capability of being able to respond effectively and efficiently, my concern is that we will start to see little spikes that might turn into outbreaks. So therefore, I have been being very clear in my message to try to the best extent possible to go by the guidelines, which have been very well thought out and very well delineated. The expert also said even states which are acting properly in reopening could still see a rise in coronavirus cases. There is no doubt, even under the best of circumstances, when you pull back on mitigation, you will see some cases appear. It's the ability and the capability of responding to those cases with good identification, isolation, and contact tracing will determine whether you can continue to go forward as you try to reopen America. The remarks came as the United States is debating whether it is safe for states to reopen. Apart from that, Dr. Fauci also told the Senate hearing that experts believe more people in the U.S. have died from COVID-19 than those who have been reported. Most of us feel that the number of deaths are likely higher than that number because th given the situation, particularly in New York City, when they were really strapped with a very serious challenge to their healthcare system, that there may have been people who died at home who did have COVID, who were not counted as COVID because they never really got to the hospital. As a key member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force, Fauci said he thinks the nation is going in the right direction, but the right direction does not mean total control of the outbreak. He also warned there could be more infections and deaths if there is not an adequate response by the United States in the fall. If we do not respond in an adequate way when the fall comes, given that it is without a doubt that there will be infections that will be in the community, then we run the risk of having a resurgence. I would hope by that point in time, in the fall, that we have more than enough to respond adequately. But if we don't, there will be problems. Robert Redfield, director of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Brad Giroir, assistant secretary of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and Stephen Hahn, commissioner of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, also provided testimony through teleconference. And some of the participants who present at the hearing wore masks.